For example, as the first jump that I made from an auditor to financial analyst, I made a 20% increase. Okay, here's the future value of every extra money you're making as a result of having a CPA. Here is the future value of it. How much is a CPA worth over the lifetime of your career? Which is a question that I've been always asking myself since I got my CPA license about 10 years ago. And I immediately saw a 20% pump in my salary when I got my license. And so that got me thinking, what is it worth over the lifetime of my career? Meaning that in the entire span of my career, which is let's say 30 years, what is the added monetary value of getting my CPA license? So I wanted to make this video for everyone out there who is either studying for the CPA or maybe contemplating uh, sitting for the CPA exam and they're just overwhelmed by the amount of studying that you have to go through and the exams and so this is is going to help you get motivated into jumping into it with both feet and getting it accomplished. So I took all of my knowledge over the last 15 years working in accounting about salary and career progression and put it all here in this Excel file that I'm gonna show you here in a minute where I'm gonna say starting age 25, which is about the age that I started to work in accounting. And then here's the role, the role with the CPA and then year over year increase salary and then salary with the CPA based on my knowledge over the last 15 years. And then we're gonna model it all out and we're gonna see how much we're gonna net out at the end, how much incremental value I'm gonna get from having my CPA license, which is a simple question that we're gonna to answer today, which is how much I'm gonna have in my bank account over the span of my career, or which is 30 years, how much I'm gonna end up with incrementally as a direct result of having a CPA license, which is how much money I'm gonna be leaving on the table if I didn't get my CPA license. Hopefully this is gonna be a motivating factor for you to get it done and get your CPA license. And I have to mention here that this is based on my own experience, right? So this is based on me working in public accounting for a couple of years and then transitioning out to private industry after that, right? So everybody's experience is different. You can take this model and build it differently where you stay in public accounting all of your career, right? Or you work in tax all of your career. Uh, this is just a way to help you to kind of gauge the value of having the CPA license. All right, and now let's dive into the model and the numbers and get excited about what we can find here. So uh, as I said, I started working in accounting at age 25. So I'm gonna plot that in here as a starting age 25. I'm gonna have my columns, year, age, role, role with a CPA, because you're gonna see in a second here that we'll have different roles if you have a CPA license. Uh, we'll have year over year increase. We're gonna have set values here, uh, going from 3% all the way to 40%. We'll have salary, and then we'll have a salary with a CPA because the salary with a CPA is gonna be different. And then we'll have a column for the extra, how much I make an extra based on having a CPA license. And then the extra invested until retirement age, which is I'm assuming here retirement age in my case, 30 years out of 25, which is age 55. And this is about the typical age that I've seen controllers or accountants in general retire at age around 55, I guess because they make um, decent amount of money and also because they know how to manage their money, they're able to retire a little bit earlier than they usually population okay so we have year one and then I'm gonna say age it's gonna be age 25 so that's equal to 25 and then I'm gonna say the next year equals to 25 plus 1 and then I can drag it down to get every year after that more or less about age 55 it says here age 54 but that's beside the point uh, the point is that uh, the career span is 30 years is the typical career span that I've seen okay now the role with a CPA and without. So um, I have here a model and this is based on my own trajectory. So as I said before, I started out in uh, public accounting and then I transitioned out to work in private industry. So uh, the roles that I've held uh, based on this was an auditor and then auditor two, financial analyst, finance manager that continued for three years and then accounting manager for a couple of years and then senior manager and then controller. Um, now, for the roles with a CPA, as you'll see, it's very similar, except that at a certain point in your career, maybe year 20, um, you won't be able to get into VP and chief accounting officer without a CPA, right? So these are roles that are more reserved to someone who's got their CPA. Okay, now the year over year, we'll get to that in a minute here, but we'll say the salary, the starting salary where I started was about $50,000, right? So 50,000 was the starting salary when I started to work in public accounting, right? Uh, now, the salary with a CPA, now based on Gleam CPA review, and so you can Google this and find the extra premium you get with a CPA license, and Gleam CPA review had a number there that ranges between 10 to 15%. Uh, so we're gonna take the lower end of that and say 10%. So we're gonna say this uh, times 1.1. 1 .1. 
so 55,000, right? And you can drag that down because that's gonna be a premium that's gonna be pretty much throughout your life. Okay, now for a year over year increase, um, we're gonna start with the baseline. So a baseline is 3%, and this is about the inflation rate increase or salary increase you get every year, right? So we're just gonna use that as a baseline to begin with. And then we're gonna you know, tweak it based on, you know, because you get a bump in your salary every time you get a promotion or every time you jump between firm to another, right? Um, so for right now, we'll just use that as the starting point and we'll say uh, the salary here equals this previous salary times one plus the increase, right? And then you can pretty much drag that down. And now so far what I have is that every role that I've held and then the salary and then a salary with the CPA, which is 10% more based on what we just talked about, the Gleam CPA review is estimating 10 to 15% more uh, salary if you have a CPA, which is uh, in line with what I've experienced as well. And um, here we have the year over year increase and we said that that's a drop down menu, which you can do quite easily by creating a data validation. So the way that I did that is pretty much is using an input tab. So I like to have an input tab down here and I say, here's all the range of my year over year increases. And then in my sheet, I just say, um, highlight the cell and just say um, data and then data validation and then you can pretty much choose a list from range and then specify your range in the tab that I created for input and that's gonna be your range. Um, so you can select from a drop down menu, makes it much easier. Now the next column is gonna be the extra, which is how much money you'll be making as a result of having a CPA. And this is not taking the, the time value of money, this is gonna be simple math, uh, 55,000 minus 50,000, which is 5,000. And that's just gonna be the premium. And then in the next column, we'll do the time value of money because if I make $5,000 in year one in my career, and this is extra money that I'm making and I invest it with an interest rate, I'm gonna specify up here, which is 7%, which is a safe interest uh, rate that you can get Get from, uh, for example, investing your money in an index fund that's in the stock market. Uh, so how much compounded interest I'm gonna make on that over the 30 years. So to do that, I'm gonna use a formula. And the formula for the future value is gonna be the amount for the future value is gonna be the principal, which is the $5,000 in our example, uh, multiplied by one plus R, which is the interest rate. So we'll do all the calculation here in a second divided by M, M is the number of periods in the year, and that's gonna be taken to the power of N, which is the number of years. So let's go through an example and see how that calculates. So this is gonna be equal my principal, which is P, so principal, right, times, and it says parenthesis, uh, one plus, so one plus uh, R divided by M. R is the interest rate, so I'm gonna take the interest rate divided by the uh, number of periods in the year. And in this example here, I'm simplifying and I'm saying that the number of periods in the year is one. So every year is one unit. I'm just gonna say divided by one, okay? And that's gonna be to the power of the number of periods. So to the power of the number of periods. Now the number of periods is gonna be, uh, now we are in year one in our career and we're looking at a 30 year career. So the number of years left is 29. And to make that form formula driven, uh, you'll just say parenthesis equal, right? And then you'll take the last year, which is year 30, right? Minus year one. So 30 minus one is 29. And now it's saying, okay, here's the future value of every extra money you're making as a result of having a CPA, here is the future value of it. And looking at it, when you look at the bottom of this, you begin to get excited because you're like, okay, you know, without factoring any salary increases more than 3%, which we'll get to in a minute here because you'll make more than 3% as a jump, you know, for example, as the first jump that I made from an auditor to financial analyst, I made a 20% increase, right? But, you know, let me just go back one step. Without even factoring that in, we are already making, uh, we're gonna have in the bank account at the retirement age an additional $648,000 as, as a result of having a CPA license without factoring in any of the cool things that we'll do here in a minute to get to the right answer. So now let's go to the year over year increase because this is where the magic is happening, right? This is where you wanna see how much is the salary increasing year over year. 
Again, these year-over-year increases are based on my experience. Everybody's experience is a little bit different, but I like to think that my experience is somewhat representative of reality of what everybody else is seeing. And again, my reality is based on New York City. This is a major metropolitan area where salaries are higher than the rest of the country and the world. And so you gotta take this model and build it for your own location and your own um, circumstances. And so for me, uh, after year one, uh, going into year two, as an auditor working in public accounting, I made about 7% increase, right? So this is just going into year two, right? Then I made the transition to private industry after that. And immediately when I made that transition, I made a 20% increase. As you see, as we're changing these numbers here, the amount of money I'm making and additional incremental money is gonna be increasing. And now we're about $771,000 additional. And we haven't even gotten to the exciting numbers yet when you become, uh, when you get into controllership, for example. Uh, but anyway, the next year after that, I, you know, I stayed within the 3%, 3%, um, nothing exciting here. Um, as you get to uh, year seven, that's when I saw you know, more of a bigger bump. Now we're seeing salaries getting into the 100K range, and this is without bonus, this is just base salary, no bonus and no equity. Typically you get a component of equity in many companies, a component of bonus, this is just the base salary. Okay, uh, then I have a role change here going from accounting manager to senior manager, and you know, usually with a role change, you're gonna get about 20% increase. And as you can see, we just crossed the million dollar mark, a million dollars additional in your bank account at retirement as a result of having your CPA license. And we haven't even gotten to the bigger numbers yet. Okay, uh, the year after that is city manager, no change in title, no increase, more than 3%, which is typical inflation increase. Um, after that, there was a big title change to controller, okay? And with that, you know, there is a 30 to 40%, I'm gonna put it at 30% conservatively here that you'll make as a result of a shift from a senior manager to controller working in private industry. So now we're seeing salary in the range of 150K per year. And with the CPA, that number is about 166K and that's without bonus and without equity. And so let's say you continue a couple of years working in the same firm, making 3% the next year additional and 3% additional in the year after that. And then you make a move to another firm, which is when you jump from a firm to another, you make a premium of about 20%. So we'll say here 20% and you get to 192 uh, without and 211 with the CPA. And as you can see our counter here to check, we're getting close to $1.3 million. And so you continue that pattern. Usually um, you work maybe two to three years. The average tenure is about three years. And then you make a similar uh, jump after that and you get 20%. You're getting into 269 now. Your numbers are getting more exciting and then you hold that position down, and then the next position over is gonna be VP. And now, as you can see here, I split the role uh, without a CPA and the role with a CPA. Typically, a role like a VP of accounting and beyond, which is a chief accounting officer, this is gonna be more reserved to someone with uh, their CPA license uh, versus someone who doesn't have it, right? So you can see this person here will stagnate as a controller versus here you can progress to a VP of accounting and a chief accounting officer. As you get here, um, you get the VP, we'll say 40%, and as you get to Chief Accounting Officer, that's another probably 40%. And the difference is are likely to get much, much bigger. The difference here is only 58K, but the difference is likely to get much, much bigger than that as you are uh, someone who is in the Chief Accounting Officer seat. Uh, if you didn't get your CPA license, you wouldn't be able to be in that seat. And so the difference here is very, very conservative. The difference is likely to be triple that difference here. And we are already at $1.6 million additional that you have in your retirement account or your saving account as a direct result of getting your CPA license. Now, the other thing too is that the interest rate that we're calculating with here is 7%. 7% is extremely conservative. If you look at the returns of the stock market over a span, a longer period like this, we're talking about 30 years, this is likely to be somewhere around 10%. And with 10%, you're looking here at this number being $2.3 million, to almost $2.4 million as additional money that you'll have in your pocket uh, as a direct result of having a CPA license. Uh, this model here is something simple that you can build yourself in Excel. If you wanna download it, it's gonna be uh, available to my Patreon supporters and Patreon, uh, where you'll find every single template that we discuss on this channel available to my Patreon supporters, link in the description. Uh, but uh, this is just a simple way for you to see uh, what you'll make additional. The reality is much more nuanced, much more different when you work in different jurisdictions, different locations, but this is at least uh, based on my experience, what I've seen uh, and what I've seen the market pay for someone who has a CPA license.
So this is just a simple model that can show you what you can make additionally with having a CPA license. It doesn't factor in the qualitative aspects of having a CPA license like pride, recognition, professionalism, all of these things. These are additional to what we're talking about here. This is just the money aspect of things. And so this is just a simple model that can motivate you. If you see some problems with the assumptions that I'm making in this model, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know your experience in general in the comment section below, what you've seen. Is this a representation of what you've seen in the market or not? Let me know. I'd like to know. Uh, if you liked the video, give us a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Also, if you want to learn more from me, you can check out my online courses on various topics, including financial metrics or KPIs, creating a KPI dashboard, accounting interview skills, etc., etc. You could also chat directly with me and ask me your questions if you become a member on Patreon.